hi there and welcome to my new video in this video i'm going to show you my art journal and it's been a while since i've been showing this art journal it's my home art journal and it's all about when we are at home the last one was from spain we were traveling but this one i already showed you a lot of the pages in this book but well for now you can see my new pages the last one that i showed you was not the japan part oh that one i show i've been showing this was the last one i've been showing and that was from the bread baking process with a small book and my pearl mini book preparing pearl to go on a little journey and there she is, sleeping. And this is my new page. And it's my cupboard, my closet in the kitchen. And well, last year we, um, we got a new kitchen and we wanted a cupboard there. And we created our own. But following on having a new kitchen, we decided to have a new decoration, new colors, new painting. This is a painting by one of my students. She's always working with the palette knife. And there's also a new painting in the kitchen. I've already showed you that one. And well, I think that one is finished at least. The other ones, I don't know. Um, but this is our new cupboard. It was uh, a book closet, but uh, it, so it was standing straight, vertical. But I wanted to have something, some extra working space for the kitchen. And I wanted to have, well, I, I really wanted to keep the wood as it is. I really love this uh, that rustic uh, kind of feeling. So I didn't want to, to uh, get this damage with... Uh, constantly put, uh, taking things out of the wardrobe and um, I, I decided to go to Ikea and I bought with my mom I bought these uh, well kind of boxes and these ones you can open so well that's the kitchen and so I dedicated this full page to creating our new cupboards and some things have changed because there were too many things on it and so i just selected some items that i wanted to have in uh, i created the carpet which isn't actually there uh, there are some baskets well i have now one underneath and there are two the other one is there and that's my studio closet with some studio, studio items. That's the one you normally see in our videos. Why you don't see that one and why you don't see my face is because Anthony is away for a couple of weeks. He is visiting a friend in France and he will be back, well, in a couple of weeks and then we move together to France again. Why I also show you this cardboard is I have one of my kids student who has drawn this cupboard so nicely her name is Pip and I'm really proud of her this was also the student assignment so I will show you all the results I'm very proud of my students so I show you the kids students and the adult students result right now
this video is all about style because the next thing I want to show you is a pile of clothes. I already showed you in one of my videos this page and my students were so inspired that they wanted to have this as an assignment in the lesson. So I created one again and I really enjoyed these new colors and well, as I told you, um, the style of our living room has, um, has a little change. And like I said, we already changed the style of our living room. The colors of our living room are more like blue, but this is what happened to my clothes as well. So I created a wonderful pile of new and old clothes that I bought recently, but some items um, like this one, it's golden oldie skirt, jeans. This one I have already, I think, four years. Uh, most of the things are secondhand, like this wonderful skirt. It's, well, it's amazing. And this one I bought last year in France. So the assignment was to make a uh, well, a pile of textile, it could also be curtains, it could be uh, textile for your bed, it could be whatever you wanted. It could also be, of course, something out of your fantasy, but I created this pile of clothes to, well, to manifest or to, well, how do you say that, to cover my new wardrobe. So it's also, uh, again, a wardrobe project but now the inside of the wardrobe and I really wanted to have it like a pile that's almost falling down and the scarf it's covering everything on the sides like there and I just discovered um maybe you have to that the one I first showed you wasn't finished yet so I bring I brought in some details uh well I was sorting out these clothes, I was like, thinking like, okay, I have to finish it. So I did some small details on the scarf and I did that with my favorite new Derwent pencils. Look at those. <laughs> this is not exactly what what's normally in the box, but I already had some favorite colors and I put those in. And you miss some yellow and oranges, I put them in another box. I also used these oil pastels and some of my favorite Posca markers and other items that I use often. And I love to add some receipts, some old clothes too, which are, well, really matching the style. Like this one, I really love this. And this is a label from Isla Bonita y Pizza, and that's from this, this one, and I think this one I ordered there, the one with the hearts, I really love it, and um, I don't know what this is, um, I don't know, I think this is the Ikea thing, packaging thing, and I always love to add some patterns that are also somewhere in um, the skirts or in the patterns of the of the clothes. I also did it with the other one. I created I created um, a frame around this one with all patterns included. And on this page, I added patterns that are similar to the patterns on the left page. In this page, I just made the decision to made no frame because I wanted to have the attention to the middle of the page and I thought this would it would be enough for my page composition. The only thing I have done this background was blue all around this pile of 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 uh, clothes and I thought it could use a subtle bottom and it's the same color as the the fabric page 
that is already in the Dynavo Klee. And it continues a bit because I still had some old clothes that I wanted to have in the art journal. And I also have this one. This is continuing from this side to that side. And I had some jelly print. I had a label from one of my favorite brands, a Dutch brand. Uh, it's called King Louis. And I created a, an envelope for that. And here I want to add something more. I want to buy a red rose because this brand is called Indian Rose. It's from Old Jeans. And I want to have a wonderful rose. I want to draw it here. Maybe a red or pink one because this page could use some more, but you will see that the next time. And here in the corner, you see a piece of jeans fabric from the Indian Rose jeans that I, well, that I torn apart. I will show you some more students' results, what they've done with their piles of clothes. Some of the adult students already did some homework before they started the assignment. They created some patterns on loose pieces of paper and Sonja even created her own pattern book. This is just a kind of inspiration. When you don't know what pattern you want to make, you just browse through this book. And I thought this was a lovely idea to share with you so you can make your own pattern book. Next time I show you some pages with some more fabric, jeans fabric, and I show you a little mini book about the spring. So I hope you'll be watching next time again. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know if you liked it, what is your favorite page and feel free to do the assignments that I gave to the students. Have fun and have a lovely day. Bye bye.